analysis of covariance which is also called as ANCOVA. For understanding ANCOVA, firstly we should understand what is covariance. So, covariance is a measure of how changes in one variable are associated with changes in a second variable. So, covariance measures the degree to which two variables are linearly associated or correlated. Then, what is the difference between covariance and correlation? Is these are same or different? Let's see it. Both the term measures the relationship as we see and the dependence, dependency between two variables. But covariance shows the direction of the linear relationship between variables while Correlation shows or measures both, which means strength and direction of the linear correlationships between two variables. variables. Hence, ANCOVA is extension of ANOVA because it is a statistical test related to ANOVA. It tests whether there is a significant difference between groups after controlling for variance explained by a covariate. A covariate is a continuous variable that correlates with the dependent variable. Then here question arises what is the difference between ANOVA and ANCOVA as we already know that ANCOVA is a little extension of ANOVA. But what is the difference between ANOVA and ANCOVA? The basic difference between these two terms is of C, C which means covariance. Like ANOVA, ANCOVA has also a single continuous response variable. But unlike ANOVA, ANCOVA compares a response variable by both a factor and a continuous independent variable. Let us see the example. Here we have taken comparing test scores of the students by both. Both means level of education as well as number of days spent studying. The term used in ANCOVA for the continuous independent variable is the covariate. So, covariate is continuous independent variable. Let us see this diagram. There are independent variables, level of education, which is factor and second one is covariate. So, here covariate is number of days spent for studying and the response is test score. And COVA compares a continuous response variable which is level of education here by levels of a factor variable. Controlling for a continuously covariate for example number of days spent in studying. So it is all about analysis of covariate.